In this two-minute tip, I'm going to share with you the rule that requires kids to run the bases in reverse, why this rule exists, and the two things you need to teach your kids about this rule, including one tricky aspect. And at the very end, I'll give some advice on when to teach this rule to your kids. In game one of the 2023 ALCS between the Texas Rangers and their in-state rival, Houston Astros, the Astros have a runner on first base in Jose Altuve in the bottom of the eighth inning. The tying run is at the plate in Alex Bregman, who hits a deep fly ball off Aroldis Chapman. Left fielder Evan Carter runs back to the wall and makes a great catch. Altuve, who was at second base when Carter caught the fly ball, sprints back to first base so he doesn't get doubled up. The Rangers' Marcus Simeon alertly sees that Altuve did not touch second base on his way back to first base. Second base umpire Marvin Hudson calls Altuve safe on the appeal, but the Rangers challenge and replay confirms that Altuve touched second base and took one step towards third base, but when he returned to first base, he indeed did not touch second base. So you can see neither foot touches second as he races back to first. So Altuve gets doubled up anyway. The reason for this rule is so that a runner who, for example, runs from first base to third base on a fly ball and realizes the ball is caught in the air, can't just take a shortcut and run from third base to first base by cutting through the field. This prevents runners from just always taking off recklessly when a ball is hit in the air. Instead, they have to be smart about how far they should go forward because they have to go backward the same way if the ball is caught. So what do you teach your kids? Two things, actually. First, tell your base runner kids to not go past the next base if they did not tag up when a fly ball is caught. It's okay to be standing on the next base, but they should not go past it because they're likely to forget to touch that base when going back. And second, coach your defensive kids to check if the runner touched the base, whether they're advancing or retreating. And this is the tricky part because your defensive players are all likely to be watching the outfielder and not the base runner. So Mm. practice having the non-cutoff man watch the runner and only have the cutoff man watch the outfielder. And when do you teach this to your kids? Practice this just once in an early season practice and they'll remember it for the rest of the season. To reinforce it, you could put a link to this video in Google Classroom and assign your kids to watch this video later in the season as a reminder. And if you want another two minute tip, you'll wanna check out this video.